Good afternoon. Welcome to Options Tender. It is Thursday. Happy Thursday. Thirsty Thursday, everybody. It is um, September 19th, 2024. So we got our move to the upside after some huge volatility from FOMC. Now we're going to discuss those targets once again that we've been talking about. Uh, why did we hold on to our swings? Um, where we could have went wrong. We're going to discuss all these things and uh, where my heavy trading swings are out to and and where they're kind of at. So we're doing this intraday here and about about noon Eastern Standard Time, if you're interested in getting these videos intraday, then consider becoming a supporter. It's only 99 cents and then we do individual analysis and and trade alerts for whatnot um for uh individual analysis supporters and and members so i think that's three dollars but let's jump into it so we have um spy on the monthly time frame we're going to go through spy and multiple time frames and we'll shoot around the horn with uh smh qqq iwm is an important one hint hint and uh, and also uh, we'll check out QQQ. I said the VIX as well. Okay, so spy on the monthly time frame. We have two thousand top, twenty one top, and we're forming twenty four top here. Now we are making new all time highs. Uh, we suspected that, but I don't think this is going to hold. I'm not even sure this monthly candle is going to end up up here. We might have a nice big wick going into the end of the month or this be a hangman and October bring us some some downside. And I think that will be the start to a recession. So it just depends on how fast price wants to get up to our targets, okay? So we have, now we discussed on yesterday's video all the divergences, so you can go back and look at that. We have divergences on all the time frames now. And so we have to be very, very cautious and just know uh, where we go wrong, where this trade to the upside is over. Let's go to the weekly. On the weekly time frame, looking at, uh, <laughs> I wasn't sure if we'd go test that channel top again, potential channel. We don't have the, uh, there's only one point at the bottom so far, but it uh, looks like we're going for it. We're looking for that 580, so depending on how fast we get it, maybe even next week, the next candle, uh, we'll be looking at uh, uh, testing the top of the channel once again. And uh, that would be an objective short uh, at that spot as well. So here's our... <clears throat> so we got on top and held above the 162. Again, I don't think this is going to hold. Uh, we'll probably look at the monthly or even the quarterly kind of candle and that will probably have a wick right through it. So just know that on the higher time frames, you know, this could still wick down and that would be a fake break on the higher time frames. But we're holding it on the weekly and I suspect that we still have some higher ground to go before heading lower. Now our count, we'll revisit this count over and over. We have an ending diagonal here, okay? And we're looking to test the top of this uh, megaphone again and that's around the 180 area or uh, 180 my gosh 580 area that we'll be looking for so all these are made up of three waves so you have five of them one two all three waves ABC for three four and we're looking for an a B C for five let's go down to the daily On the daily time frame, we had the uh, bearish rising wedge here fill out, and we broke down from it. Now, we do have all-time highs, so I will draw another trend line here from the bottom. That's what, what we do, but I, I still want to keep that wedge on there just for reference of, of what we did. But this is going to be a valid trend line that we're going to have to break here. That's our lowest point uh, before the high. Okay, so we have our low, our low, 
and that will be a valid trend line right there. Now this one is also a valid trend line, so we'll have to break that trend line as well. It's the old uh, ascending triangle that we're breaking out of. So technically the trend is up from here and here. Now, our trend indicators, we use the 8, we held the 8 yesterday and gapped up from that, from FOMC shenanigans. So that's our 8 EMA momentum indicator. Momentum is up. Uh, some people are going to look at this as a hangman candle, and I, I, I don't think this is done yet. We'll probably gap up each day, uh, grind from this point. I don't think we'll have large moves like this anymore until we get to our our target here which is out to the 26 okay and then I'll show you on the next board why the 26 and we have our 20 moving average that's our trend indicator held this as well and so the trend is still up momentum still up all right here during the here's the um, other page here I think this five is gonna be out here <clears throat> so what we're looking at is not I want, I'm going to change this now. It doesn't really matter how you look at this three, four. Some people are going to say, well, you have the one, two, three, and here's wave four, and five will be up here. But, it, you know, this really just fits my. If I. I want to change it so it looks like all the other boards. So I'm not confusing you. So this is an A. We completed A, completed B. And let's see if we can get that. My gosh, sorry. Let's see if we can activate. There it is. And we'll drag that up to our final target. Now, I don't think it's going to be actually way out here. It could be to the early. Um, our swings are past 10 4. We have plenty uh, of short date all the way up to. Um, October, the uh, middle of October for our trades, and plus we have we have more like the uh, MJ and stuff like that over at the uh, uh, over out to past the election, um, past uh, uh, out to December because they're the DA is planning on making a decision after the election. So we'll be looking for any catalysts. And speaking of MJ, I, I do think um, it starts moving before that major catalyst because of um, uh, depending on who is leading in the polls. So I think uh, Trump is um, supporting, and I, I don't know if both um, both candidates are supporting, but I, I did see that Trump is uh, supporting. And it, I don't, I'm not getting into politics here. I just want you to know that the catalyst could be sooner for that. So if, if uh, somebody's leading the poll, the polls that support uh, marijuana stocks. Okay, so we have our A, B, and we're looking for the C to target at this 580. And we're looking at that time frame from, or we're at the 20, we're looking at this right here, about the 28th. All right, so that's our next frame that we think price is probably going to get to um, around 580. If it pauses and grinds for longer than that, then so be it. This is a huge cluster of uh, time relationships. Okay, so the 127 is the 580. That's our that's our target there, and with all the divergences on the different time frames, I don't think we'll go much further than that. As a matter of fact, um, price doesn't have to get up to that point. Just know that um, uh, you know, just be safe with your trades. Uh, know that underneath, we get back under this uh, 565. And I think that uh, it was a fake break and it, it continues to move to the downside, okay? So if price gets on top of 580 and wants to continue to grind up, perhaps into this cluster, uh, then that's about 600. We'll be looking at the at uh, about 600. Let me give us some time here so we can... I'm just expanding that so we can see. Okay, so uh, that would be a final target. At the 162, where do we get these prices? From this correction here, going from three to four, and then you have your retracements. We made it past the 887, all the retracements we made it past, and this was the 100%, and now we're getting into the um, the 100 over 100% 100 
over 100 percent retracement so the 127 is our first major second major would be the 120 162 but with the divergences i think we end this at about 580 going into the end of september beginning of october let's go to 65 And on the 65 minute, this was a, this is what it looks like on the uh, traditional technical analysis. Again, I'm going to move a trend line to underneath this one, so we'll have another. But there's our target stair time price. Uh, we're getting near there, so that keep that in mind that we're getting near our targets on the uh, on SPY and QQQ. So that's important because what's going to drive the market higher if the Qs are near their targets already? Okay, they can kind of go in lockstep if they need to, but I, I'm leaning towards IWM. IWM has a lot um, bigger move left to go to hit our target. So here's it, what it looks like in traditional te technical analysis. And then uh, we'll be looking for QQQ to go to yeah, this triangle breakout. And we'll be looking for that one to go up to try to close the gap here we're already at the 786 here so might get a reaction off of here might end the, uh, today's trade at the 786 486 but we're only eight points away from our final target here at the 887 and that should uh, come close to closing that gap there and this would be our one two setup so we're looking for an a b c and with that a b c we have a one two three wave four and now we're getting extension in a one two three and then four five okay however that looks like it's getting much smaller you can't really see a whole bunch in there okay so uh again we have a little bit of room left i'm not getting too worried about uh, any reversals yet but this is the main picture that we're looking at before a reversal so if price gets up to here at the 494 We'll see where SPY is. It will probably be in our target range already. But if you look, we're, I mean, we're really close. We're really close. Okay, so with that said, what has some uh, more catching up to do to get to its target? Again, a triangle breakout. Uh, that gave us a clue. Uh, this was breaking out before with FOMC. Let's go to the daily time frame so we can see better. And then we have the we have the target area up here. That's all the way up to the 234. That's resistance there, and it's also our large correction here. We had a all-time high. We had an A. Let me scrunch this down so you can see the A. An A, an expanded B that we're finishing off right now, where this is an A, B, one uh, ending diagonal. One, two, three. Four, and now we're looking for again a three wave move up to complete five and that'd be at the 235 area so now you can imagine that that's a huge move for IWM so it's got plenty to go so we should see uh, some individual names like uh, JPM JP Morgan should really start to play catch up and uh, possibly make new highs as well so that's a heavy trade that we're in we're in uh, IWM we're in uh, in the money calls all the way to out of the money calls uh, at the 235. So we're really, really heavy on IWM here, which, uh, so we're still inside of yesterday's range. And I, I think this will start breaking out and leading things to the upside as uh, as price starts to grind and, and spy because QQQ might get to its target first and hold the market kind of in a grinding mode while um, IWM lifts, does the heavy lifting for a little bit. So I didn't even mention what happens after this. <laughs> the A, large B, and now an impulse wave to the downside. Massive move. Okay, we're looking for a massive downside to uh, IWM. Let's see here. SMH, same position as is Q's, a little bit, uh, um, a little bit more to the downside here. So you know, I think the Q's 
will make it up to a deep retracement. But I think um, the potential here is it could stop right here after eking out a new high and it could stop right at the 62. Kind of have a double top here. That's possible. But I think it's more likely if the Qs are making it such a deep retracement that we'll see the 265 up here. Which, so that has a nice uh, amount of potential in it as well. That's over 20 points to the upside. So um, we're holding on to uh, some of the chips as well. But I'm not going to be really heavy in tech because I don't know which one's going to start turning over first and kind of holding the market down. So we'll be looking for short positions as price moves to the upside and see which individual names should uh, start um, uh, turning over and weighing on the market. VIX. So the VIX had a fake break here. That's kind of what I was talking about where we had the uh, lower highs and lower lows. Now we didn't, I don't think we made a new low here. If we did, it's just by a couple pennies or so. So we have sort of a double bottom here. I don't think that's going to be the case. I think we close uh, one or two of these gaps here and possibly uh, hold on to this trend line. So I think we have further, further to go here, which means that the market will be heading to the upside. And after that, we'll be looking for a nice, huge move up on the VIX, which is very bad for the market. Anything else? Let's go to the daily. So the VIX is really, we're looking forward to possibly retest. This trend line could hold, but the retest of the 200 would be um, kind of the same situation that's been going on here. So the 50 is above. This is in a very bullish stance. We're getting, we already had the uh, bullish crossovers here. We're in a neutral spot here. I just think uh, this needs to just come back a little bit more, maybe make a positive divergence or just a higher low and um, continues to the upside. And I think that's it. I think just want to put the emphasis on IWM. I think that has a lot more potential to the upside to drag the market uh, higher. And uh, the cues are really going to start um, being shaky on individual names. So that's what I got for you guys. Hope this all helps. Don't forget to like the video and we'll talk to you tomorrow.